Hi, my name is Taylor Palundo with Choir Publishing, and we're here with Galen Sword talking about her new book, All I Once Helped. Um, let's start off with a question about kind of where the inspiration came from this book. Reading it is really hard to not believe it's just an absolutely true story. I'm sure you get that a lot. I do get that a lot. Um, I think all of what I find that I like to read are just real true-to-life stories. So I have found through my um, writing career that those are the types of stories I like to write. Um, so All I Once Held really stemmed out of some of my early uh, marriage okay. years. Um, some of the, the struggles and the um, obstacles that my husband and I overcame being a young couple in a um, very traditional, conservative, evangelical um, church setting. And, you know, being really immersed in that culture, um, my husband and I talk about being living in the Christian ghetto in our first years of marriage, where we were went to a big church. We Our kids were going to the church school. We worked for a Christian organization, and we were just immersed in this protective, really beautiful bubble of, of the Christian culture and felt very safe and wonderful in that place in a lot of aspects, at least in what you could see from the outside. But in that environment, we also started to see um, where this Christian community really came to fail in some of the, some of the real life issues that we were experiencing as a young couple and other people that we were um, that we knew and were around um, some of the struggles that they were facing and really feeling like they couldn't in that environment everything always needed to be pretty it, the package needed to be perfect with Which a nice pretty <laughs> right <laughs> it is not life at all okay. and I think um, in particular as you'll see in the story, dealing with some emotional issues, depression, some of the um, um, struggles with with suicide as a answer when you feel like you you have nowhere else to turn. Um, experiencing that in my own life, and also, like I said, with some other people that we knew during that time, um, and seeing how I really felt that the church failed in um, supporting people that were struggling with some of those real life issues. Um, Almost like it's dirty, kind of, you have to hide it. It's yeah. so untalked about depression, I feel like, and suicide. It seems mm -hmm. shameful and not talked about. It shouldn't be brought to light. Yeah, I, I, I've met so many people that have struggled with that, and they kind of like, well, if you get right with God, or you pray enough, or, you know, that, that that's going to take care of your problem. So what else do you need? Just poop, it's gone. Right. Exactly. Okay. Um, I've heard before sort of a lot of inspiration and what you like to talk about is the real, what you said, a real story, something you like to read about, and your real story comes from kind of embracing each person's real story. Yeah. Embracing, what's the, how do it, you say it? Just em to embrace your story. Embrace your story. Yeah. So what do you mean by that? Yeah. I have just found in my experiences, especially... I think with women in general, but not just with women, I think we talk about it more, but that we have kind of been forced to, to hide who we are in a lot of ways. And I think the church has perpetuated that in many ways. Um, again, just wanting, wanting to show the pretty picture to people. And I'm just all about being real. And we all have garbage in our lives. You yeah. know, we all have things that we're not proud of. We've had mistakes we've made. We've had heartaches. We've had tragedies. We've had beautiful things. I mean, you yeah. know, the gamut. We've all experienced those things. Um, and I feel like God uses the good things as much as the bad things. But actually, I really want to say that he uses some of those quote, bad things even more significantly in our lives to, to really form who we are and to make us who we are. So why do we want to hide those things? Yeah. And so I just really feel passionate to for a, finding a place in everybody's lives where they are able, willing, and free to just embrace the whole of who they are. 
to be able to tell their stories, to share their stories without fear, without shame, and just to be real. Because as you know, when you are willing to be real and vulnerable um, and open with people, that's what builds relationships. Yeah. That's what makes people um, want to know you more and it what makes them feel helps make them feel good about who they are, no matter what. And I just feel that um, I would like to, through my stories and through my writing, be um, to write things that are relatable, to write things that people can, um, they might not have experienced that exact thing, but that they can really connect to, yeah, yeah. and then feel, you know what, it's okay. It's okay that I've gone through this, or I've experienced that, because if you could share that, and you can be really honest about that, then I could be honest about that too. And that just helps us really, I feel, become the beautiful creation that God made each of us through those stories. Beautiful. Thank you again so much for having us. You have a beautiful home and property. Thank you. For the viewers watching, for someone who doesn't know anything really about this book, what's a brief description? Kind of a daunting task, I know. Something just to... How would you describe it briefly? Ah, the elevator pitch. That's the one oh, I'm really looking for. Okay. Well, I guess I would say that this book is a real intimate glimpse into the life of a wife and mother that has found... The damage done through living in that shadow of secrets and shame. And through those experiences, she realizes she has to just let go of all she once held as true in order to save what she loves the most. I think something we can definitely all relate to on Absolutely. many levels. I hope so. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. For more information on Galen and All I Once Held, visit alliwonceheld.com. <laughs>